to the heart. Well, more like a broken heart here across Oregon because we didn't see much. Luckily, I had some friends across the country that sent in some pictures starting in areas of Columbus, Ohio, down towards Tennessee and up towards Burlington, Vermont. It was a gorgeous day. Hopefully you were able to watch that coverage earlier today on KZI. Now it's all dependent on kind of how close the moon is to the Earth, and that's why this shadow is a little bit wider than what we saw back in 2017. If you remember, certain Oregon ended up in South Carolina. Carolina where I actually was and luckily witnessed that one in 2017. Again, it's all due to the orientation of the moon and kind of how close it is to the earth. So here's the earth right here. Here's the moon. Whenever the earth is kind of closer to the moon, that is a wider shadow. That's what we exactly saw this year. And believe it or not, in 2044, there's a possibility of a 400 mile stretch of this umbra right here across the great state of Montana. Hopefully you can go ahead and get your Airbnb now across Glacier National Park. Here's the path earlier today. You can see started all the way down towards the western coast of Mexico. So started in the Pacific, made its way to the Atlantic, and you can actually see the shadow cast across the eastern portion of the country. Now, we're not going to see any eclipses anytime soon, but we'll take a closer look at what we can expect for the weekend weather-wise coming up later in the newscast. All right.